all. So you've heard about what happened to me. Everything was taken away. Everything. My property, my servants, my children taken away from me. You wouldn't think it could get any worse. But it did. The devil was convinced that if God challenged me, or if the devil could challenge me enough, I would curse God to his face. And so he took all of that away. But still I remained righteous. I did not curse my God. And of course the devil was not allowed to kill me, but he could do anything else. And so he went to God and said, if I hurt him physically, he will most certainly curse you to your face. And so he inflicts me with these boils, these sores, literally head to toe from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet, these sores pussing and, and itchy and scratching. And the only way that I could give myself some relief as I sat down among the ashes was to take a piece of, of pottery, a sharp piece, and start scraping the skin and the pus and the itching. It was the only way I could relieve myself. Because, of course, people with skin conditions were, sh were shunned. I had no other relief. And then to make matters worse, my wife comes to me, and granted, she's bitter, she's upset, she's lost her children, she's lost her property, and she comes to me, and she says, are you still maintaining your integrity? Are you still vowing to not curse God? Curse him and die, she said. My wife said that to me. But I would not. I would not curse my God. Well, then three of my friends were coming. I thought this might bring me some relief, that they might give me some comfort, they might give me some encouragement. And they came, and we sat together. For seven days, we sat among the ash, not saying a word. But after seven days, I needed to speak. I was still troubled by this. I, I was still trying to figure out how a righteous person like me could have these terrible things happen to me. And so I said, God, why didn't you just let me die at birth? I could have come out of the womb dead, and I wouldn't have had to deal with all of these problems. Right now, I would be resting with kings and rulers. I would be at peace. But I'm still suffering. Have you ever worried about something, and then it happened? The very thing that I had feared, what I had worried about, was now taking place. I have no peace, I have no joy, I'm in turmoil and misery. 